Is it on? Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, you're watching the Drunk News, and I'm, uh, <laughs> I know who I am. So, anyway, I was, um, uh, just, uh, well, yesterday I went out to, um, the, the corner store to get some cat litter, which, to be honest, I probably should have done a couple of days earlier. But while I was out there, I, uh, I saw the New York Times, and it caught my eye because here it is. It says right there, Gays in Russia find no haven despite support from the West. Isn't that fantastic? They put that right up there on the headline, the very front page of the New York Times. I mean, the, uh, sort of doesn't sound very happy or positive that there's no support from the West. That sounds, um, well, I think a little defeatist, but I would say good for the New York Times for putting it up there. And look at the picture. Here it is, these beautiful little gay children with adorable little haircuts, and they're bloody, and they're surrounded by all these soldiers in these helmets. Now you figure it out right there, you can tell. Cute haircut, helmets, tears and blood, batons. You put it together, ladies and gentlemen. They say that these soldiers are protecting the kids with a cute haircut from skinheads. So right there, I'm just thinking, helmets, skinheads, cute haircuts. Whose side are you on, ladies and gentlemen? We need to live in a world not where there's no gays with cute haircuts. We need to live someplace where there's not people with shaved heads and helmets. We need to look forward to a world where it is possible to survive without wearing a helmet, ladies and gentlemen. That should be our number one goal, first of all. If you can uh, have a nice haircut, at least you don't need to hide it under a, a bushel. And I think it's terrible what's happening over there and what's going on in this world. And then I saw another picture back here because some people are protesting that there should be a, a, an end to this horrible abuse that um, Putin, and uh, his name is Putin, he's the new Hitler evidently, and he's about to have his 1936 Olympics over there in Russia. They're having, what? They're having Olympics, ladies. Why is it that every time they're getting ready to have an Olympics, the leader of the host country goes nuts? I mean, that's what Hitler did. Fortunately, Jesse Owens, if you remember back when, who was an African-American runner, well, yeah, if, at that time, if you were an African-American, you better be able to run. He became the gold medal winner over there, beat all the Germans, beat everyone in the whole world, fastest runner alive. Hitler was very upset. Now, if he hadn't gone over there, Hitler wouldn't have been upset, and there'd probably been a lot longer. Well, there were a lot of lynchings going on here at that time, so good for the African-American people. Now, ladies and gentlemen here, they've got some protesting happening, and they've put Putin, Putin, I like to call him, which... Putin, you, it sounds like Puta, which used to be a wonderful compliment. Uh, uh, and uh, they put him in lipstick as if that's supposed to insult him. Now, activists, get it together. People should only be portrayed in lipstick as a true honor. That's an honor. It's like putting laurel leaves in your hair instead of a helmet. So don't try and shame Putin by putting lipstick on him, you know? He doesn't deserve that. He's not good enough for lipstick. Second of all, look at this person here. That's one of those people that was uh, attacking the gay people. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I recognize that comb forward insecurity scenario, and I feel terrible for that person who is desperately trying not to be a skinhead, but acting like one regardless. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very confusing time in this world and in Russia and in Greece. I think it would be a wonderful thing if we decided to boycott the Olympics. Fine. I think, you know, I have a problem. Uh, no problem, excuse me. I don't have any problems.
I don't have a problem um, boycotting vodka because, quite frankly, I'm a bourbon drinker. I don't have a problem boycotting vodka. And if the gays want to give up vodka in support of their Russian friends, good for them because the gays like vodka. Uh, generally. They like the cosmopolitan, they like anything that's pink, you know how that goes. So, give up the vodka, take off your helmets, don't allow Putin to wear lipstick until he gets it together. Hey, Putin, get it together! And, uh, just, ugh, whatever you do, ladies and gentlemen, please, I'm telling you, don't let the cat box wait, because... You end up spending so much money on candles and that Glade stuff, which is clearly does not take the place of hairspray. So, there you go. There's the drunk news. Peace on earth. Let the gays go. Disco, disco, disco. Loving, loving, loving. And you know what? If they had sex, good for them. Bye.